Good day, good people. This is John Mack. Damn, it's been a long time since I did a video. And to quickly get you in on what I will be talking about today, I'm going to talk about timeline shifts and manifesting. These are the two main things that I see is super important for people to understand at this time. And um, yeah, I'm here at, um, I'm tuning into your reality from Thailand. Um, I am at a temple that I usually go to, not every day, but almost. Uh, and they have a small coffee shop here that I just love to sit down at. It's like, I've um, got these French uh, chairs and tables and just an outside coffee shop. So I like to, to come here and I never work. I either journal or I, I read. So it's a good place to be. Uh, and I just want to give you a quick update because I haven't done a video for a long time. And um, I can tell you it's been, uh, it's been an intense time. It's been um, a fuckload of changes and, uh, and shifts and, and unexpected events. Um, I'm, going to, um, I'm going to chop up this video and try to make it um, short and effective. Uh, it was intended for, for Instagram TV, um, but I may put it out on YouTube also. Um, I haven't done a YouTube video for too long. But uh, I believe some of the changes that's been happening is for something really good. That's what I believe and I've seen um, because it's, um, it's something that will, will really benefit in the long term for the future. So that's that. So I'm staying on that timeline for myself. So, and this is also the reason why I wanted to talk about manifesting uh, today and how you can control your reality. Because we are in a time now, as you probably have noticed, that um, big changes, big events, unexpected events, um, may, I mean, around the whole planet, but maybe also in your life have happened. Uh, for some people it can be shocking, uh, totally unexpected, and uh, it's just something you have to deal with. Right, so, so that's why I wanted to talk today about and help you understand when I talk about and post on Instagram and stuff, which I have done, you know, uh, the last uh, two months about different things. I'm talking a lot about timeline shifts and jumping timelines and um, about manifesting because it's the manifesting part that determines which timeline in your life that you will experience, where will you end up? And that's totally up to you. So I've been talking to um, a lot of people lately because of the times that I have had, um, but also because I, I see that people need it now. They need to get their shit together, start to control their lives, and really decide what kind of life they want. Uh, because too many people have been caught up in a shitload of drama the last uh, year especially. I made some notes for this video so I wanted to make sure that I covered the right things and to give you something that you can use and make you think to improve your life right now. Um, so when I talk about... Yeah, okay, so first of all, first of all, timeline, timeline shifts, your lifeline. What is that all about? Um, it's about your future and it's about the future that you decide to create for yourself uh, unconsciously or consciously which is up to you so most of the planets is creating unconsciously which is why they are desperate at times in despair confused afraid um, you know earth, uh, earthlings that don't even know that they are collectively also uh, manifesting something like the pandemic and like they what they allowed the politicians to do governments to do like you have seen the last year basically uh, humans have allowed the governments to totally run you over and and uh, make you wear a teach you to shut the fuck up basically let you wear teach you to wear a diaper on your mouth and uh, not speak so for those of you that are still too much in the drama and uh, believe 
system of the um, virus. I think uh, you should um, look into that in a different way, uh, rewrite your mind on it, get rid of the fear because that's a pandemic and um, pick a different horizon to walk towards. So yeah, so, so, so what is the timeline shift? Um, I have experienced that many times this year, but I have a certain focus on it. Um, I do spend my mind power on uplifting stuff mixed with uh, good places to be and good people and good content to feed my mind and I control it and when I control that um, my life changes and the experience I had have in my life changes too so that's why um, you know me and, the, and the, my girl we left Norway um, 2019 and everything changed changed for us she left the United States and don't want to come back to that crazy country um, I left uh, Norway which I didn't expect would be such a nice experience uh, but I see now that it was actually good that we, we left and I don't want to go back to Norway uh, because Norway is still kind of in that um, hugely limited mindset. The Norwegians are like hobbits. They haven't gone farther than the fence. So the world is dangerous. Uh, they are very much into the madness of the pandemic um, and they're easy to control. Norwegians are pretty easy to fool. That's what I observed from a distance. I've seen it for years. And I come from a place in Norway, down south in the coastline, where they call it, uh, they always call it the Bible Belt. And you can just imagine um, what that means. And that's um, scary enough. That keeps people in a certain mindset and framework and will not take them further in life. Um, so some of that belief system was still existing there. In my reality when I uh, lived in Norway I of course had my close group of you know friends and a tribe that are more awake and um, might expand it and understand a lot more than the you know the conventional life and news and um, entertainment and what the politicians are saying and they are secluded too because they don't want to have anything to do with the average man because the average man uh, which is a choice, of course, if you want to be average and uh, go by the rules and uh, norms uh, and limiting belief systems and don't expand, that's um, up to each and every one. Um, but that doesn't mean that Norwegians are more happy. I've seen that. There's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of um, silent depressions going on in Norway. It doesn't help uh, coming from a rich country uh, full of oil. It doesn't help. Um, it's a peaceful country, it's wonderful. Norwegians are really peaceful people, of course. And nice, friendly people. Um, I won't say anything bad about that. Uh, and, the, and the country is powerful and beautiful. But uh, as an example, and I'm, you know, I, I just tell you guys the way it is. I don't... It's, it's like... Um, I, I like to use the analogy of the kindergarten. Um, if you want to elevate yourself, um, and expand your mind and uh, live life on um, a level of understanding that you yourself have reached, it's kind of boring and sad and, and go to the kindergarten every day. That's how I felt and uh, for years. And you feel that makes you lonely. And I, I, I want to mention this to honor some of my friends in Norway that I've talked to uh, the last weeks that are desperate. They basically want to leave the country. That's what they say. Uh, and they are lonely. I've had, I've heard a couple of um, friends telling me they meet a few new people that have been so desperate to talk about more mind-expanding stuff that um, they've started crying when they finally meet someone that are open uh, and more awake, could you say, actually. And they don't believe in the pandemic and, uh, and the COVID-19 um, fairy tale. I don't want to go too much into detail with that. Um, I'm just asking you to um, slow down the madness in your mind about it uh, and it's going to shift. You will shift. 
So, so I wanted to mention that example with Norway for myself. Why, why I tell people when they ask me the last month, are you coming home for Christmas? Um, and I would like to come home for Christmas, but I'm not moving back to Norway. I don't know why the heck I would move back to that to that reality, the way it is. Uh, because being here in Thailand, in Chiang Mai, have been amazing for us. And um, there's so much more interesting people here. The energy, just the energy in, dif in, in general is different. So, so I want to choose my reality, of course. And uh, being here is uplifting, motivating, um, energizing. And it's giving so much more opportunities because you have more chance to mingle with like-minded people. So that was an example of choosing your reality um, that you operate in every day, right? So, so it's the same thing uh, with uh, choosing where you um, choose to live um, as it is with choosing your friends. Who do you surround yourself with? And I wanted to mention an example because I'm in touch with a lot of spiritual people. Um, but things that I've seen, probably especially because of the time we are in and energies are intense cosmically, um, but also with what's happening on the planet. The collective energy is hyped up with all the madness and you know the, um, the clowns in battle in the United States when it comes to the, the, the politics. Uh, it affects people. It affects people's minds also collectively. That's, you, you don't need to uh, believe in something weird to, to understand that. Scientists know this now. Um, the effect of collective energy. So, and it affects people. And even for spiritual people, um, even if you know spiritual people, I have seen too many of them now starting to get scattered, um, unbalanced, getting sidetracked. Uh, they think they are you know, mingling with the other spiritual people and that makes it good. Um, but too many spiritual people and people that are open-minded and go deep with things, they are all over the fucking place. And there's no straight line. Uh, they get off-road, sidetracked, um, and uh, it turns out really bad. And that's, that's actually connected to the, you know, the, the, um, the basis of human psychology, how, how, how a person thrives uh, and become steady and um, and have focus is when you are you have your shit together in a way when you are aligned you have you know we have a stable life you have anchor points and routines and um, instead of kind of bouncing all over the place trying out things um, considering new thoughts and ideas and spiritual paths whatever you do if you don't have um, that's what you do when, when you're still either compensating for something or searching for something. So also make sure that you pick your, your right spiritual friends. Um, there's everything out there, for sure. So, so I'm basically talking about manifesting now um, and timeline shifts because you will shift your timeline um, based on what you believe in and what you focus on. So let me move on to my second topic. I'm talking fast today, so if it's a little bit um, unstructured it's because I'm just sat down right now to just uh, do this on the spot. But um, to choose your timeline from now, after you watch this video, you need to know where you want to go and you need to understand the power of your mind. Um, and you can even track this back to the Bible if you're still you know, referring to the Bible as a source of knowledge. Uh, it's just totally misunderstood. But even that is coming back now with new understanding of what actually the Bible is saying in some ways. Um, the power of the mind is a lot stronger than you think. You've probably been into the, um, the Secret, the movie The Secret, it got a lot of hype. And I do know that a lot of people that think that the secret got too much focus on material world, but that was just uh, the way it was put. It was um, it came out many years ago, so you know humans had to be spoon-fed carefully, so you don't scare them. So you had to put that in a framework of how to acquire things. But the the law of attraction is still in works 
when it comes to creating your everyday life and experiences, your, your body, how healthy it is, your mind, how healthy it is, um, everything. So how you manifest your life every day is, um, is based on how you control your mind and your thinking. Um, if you don't know where you want to go in life, what you want to manifest or how you want your life to be, uh, it's probably time now to sit down and dream a little. And um, dream far and wide, right? Because there's so much more you can experience in life than what you have, most likely. If not, you wouldn't be watching this video anyway. So life is meant to be fun uh, and grand and amazing. Um, it's meant to be uh, aligned with the, your true self. Um, that can be part of your, your want to manifest, is to find out more what you want and how to align with that. Because when you do that, things will start to change gradually and you will start to pencil off to a little you know a little bit different track where you would uh, start to suddenly discover the right books or the right person or situations or moments that will give you almost like breadcrumbs to pick up to put in your bag that will you know compile more and more knowledge for you to know where to go next and it will start to get a bigger picture when you want to pick the right focus and um, make sure that the thoughts you think every day is in your favor you need to start to you know sort out all the shit that's going on on this planet and i have friends in norway too that call themselves spiritual people but for some reason they keep feeding their mind every damn day with the um, with the freak show that's running on tv every day that keeps people fed with the madness you know um news for example and shitty tv shows you know effectively dramatized with um exciting music and and then um, you know fat american voices that are really good at dramatizing what's going on edited in a clever way uh so that people have a good effect um will have a you know a good uh, reaction pattern to it so start to filter that all that shit you don't need news at all why do you need to be a reminder of the madness every day if you don't want to have it? Yeah, it's strange. So cut it out. Cut out um, friends that don't match your energy um, and don't have good intentions. Pe start to mingle with people that are more open-minded um, and want to know more about reality and life and support you. People that are not too mind-scattered all over the place. and start going to new places that uh, feels good that motivates you like I've done the last weeks I have sorted out a couple of places that I really like to go to and gives me a, um, gives me higher energy for some reason like this place here it's, I mean I'm thinking that there's a reason the energy feels so good in Chiang Mai in Thailand it's, there's over 300 temples in the city it's everywhere and we know what a temple represents right so it's a good energy and it's so peaceful here so so go to places that gives you better energy um, and um, that will start to slowly and gradually change your thoughts so you can um, discover new ways of um, creating your reality the thing the thing about thinking um, when you start to think a thought if you're really fired up about it and it start to give you butterflies and an emotion in your body, both positive and negative, uh, it's going to create something on a metaphysical level. And that, that's what starts to create your reality uh, physically around you. Suddenly one day you're going to experience it. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. The sad thing is with humans, they are best at being afraid and be uh, worried about something going wrong so that's that's what they get because they put so much thought process and energy into that be aware of that stop being so worried and start to control the thoughts 
and go to YouTube. There's a shitload of videos on YouTube that can help you gradually control your thoughts and start looking at the future more brightly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut it there. That's just what I wanted to talk about today, how you can change your thoughts, control your environment around you with people and places, and also your food, um, so that you can start think thoughts that produce a different reality around you. So I hope that was useful. I wanted to mention these things because I have had an intense time myself, um, and I practice my habits every day to uh, control my timeline in a better way, as best as I can at least. So, one last tip um, I wanted to share with you, um, check out my last video on jumping timelines with Jeff Cloud. Uh, people have loved that video, it seems. I've never seen a 100% like on, uh, on my uh, YouTube videos like that before. So um, it's been a good one, a good response. So listen to what Jeff Cloud says about uh, changing your reality and know that you have control. So stay well. Ask me questions on Instagram if you have any questions and I'm going to pick them out and I'm going to reply to them on a video if you want that. All right, all the best to you and use your mind for your greater good, which also affects humanity. All right? Stay well.